some aggrieved northern members of the Nigerian Bar Association MBA have pulled out of the group, alleging that the legal body is biased. The lawyers say they have constituted a new group called New Nigerian Bar Association NNBA. This is a fallout of the controversy that ensued after the NBA withdraw, withdrew its invitation to Nasai Rufai, the Kaduna state governor, following a petition against the governor. Some lawyers had kicked against the choice of the governor, saying the invitation is a reward for misrule and alleged that Air Rufai has abused the, the rights of Nigerians on several occasions. Another group of lawyers had also called the NBA to withdraw its invitations to former President Ulushe Gumbasanjo and Ie Sonwike, Governor of River State, as speakers for its annual conference, but the request was turned down. The Muslim rights concerns Muri described the NBA's action as a declaration of war. In a statement, the new association said recent developments within NBA have generated increased concern which necessitated their withdrawal from the association. He said the incidents have exposed the inability of the MBA to manage and contain the heterogeneity of its members as well as their various interests. Its penal powers has been deployed discriminatively on the basis of ethnicity and regionalism, the statements read. As a body of lawyers who have undergone training towards ensuring the promotion and protection of human rights and liberties, the NBA is supposed to live above sentiment, regionalism, and discrimination on any basis and of any kind. Therefore, the NBA cannot afford to be seen not to be upholding the rights and freedom of its own members, if at all it should be seen to be practicing what it preaches. The new Nigerian Bar Association have been watching the activities of the NBA, an association we all looked forward to joining with high hopes before being called to the Nigerian bar, forcing idiosy idiosyncrasies of few on the majority of its members, especially in recent times. No wonder MBA NEC, MBA NEC, which is the highest decision-making organ of the association, failed to uphold the fundamental principles of the fair hearing, which in itself is the fundamental aspect of rule of law. On the allegations against the executive governor of Cardinal State, Malam Nasa Ahmad Erufai, as were contained in a petition by Chidi Odikalu Odin, Odin, Esquire, a longtime foe of His Excellency and a lawyer of Eastern extraction, but the NBA failed to extend the same treatment to Southern invitees who were also petitioned and also alleged to have committed similar or more human rights abuses than those alleged against Malam Erufai. The, renew, the new association said NBA mandatory membership is against the provisions of the constitution which recognizes freedom of membership of every association as provided in section 40. The lawyer said their interests are no longer taken into consideration in major decisions of, MBA, of the NBA, hence the formation of the new association. A cursory chronicle of the membership co composition of major organs of the NBA would reveal lopsided representation despite having large numbers of lawyers from all parts of the country and especially northern Nigeria who have diligently paid their bar practicing fees and have distinguished themselves in the legal profession, it's read. The new Nigeria Bar Association feel that lawyers as professionals like doctors and accountants should have more should have more than one association regulated by the General Council of the Bar, the Legal Practitioners Act (LPA), which regulates the legal profession in Nigeria, did not establish the MBA. In fact, the MBA was established as an incorporated trustee by the Corporate Affairs Commission (CAC). It is no longer gainsaying that a group of lawyers can freely join any lawful association for the protection of their rights and interests as lawyers and citizens of Nigeria pursuant to the above cited section 40 of the constitution. Even section 1 of the LPA, which seemingly conscripted all lawyers in Nigeria to mandatory membership of MBA, is for all intents and purposes as loggerheads with section 40 of the constitution, which makes the former null and void and of no effect whatsoever. Hmm. 
So guys, uh, this uh, this uh, division, this uh, ethnicity, tribalism, or whatever you call it, nepotism, is going in a different different direction. And now those who are involved now are the learned learned people. Those who are who are supposed to know and do the right thing. The first first thing is that the MBA in the first place. Why would they want to invite somebody without going through the due process to check very well to know what could happen? Of course, you, are, you might blame the leadership of the MBA. And more so, yes, because if you look at it from the beginning, you see that the MBA, you might not really fault them because they have an open mind to invite anybody. But as soon as they invited this man, it is not the leadership, from my own point of view, it is not the leadership of the MBA that caused the problem. The members as well, they were the ones who said they don't want this person. And they had to bounce to pressure. And these people that are forming their own, they are forming their own group or association now. Um, I, I, were they not part of the people that voted? Because there was there was an online, according to what we heard, there was an online voting whether the man should be disinvited or not. So where were they? Because like they always a majority carry the vote, and it was based on the result of the poll that they conducted. That was why the leadership of MBA had to battle pressure so that they are not going to invite him. Judging from or looking at it. If we want to look at this, uh, the reason why they are not inviting or disinviting Erufai, most or uh, most of the politicians they are they are they are corporate in this case because ma majority of them they they do they they misbehave. If it will get to the extent of not even inviting them because maybe it will be as a revolution because all of them whether you talk of all of them you don't need to even be mentioning him at one point in time they disappointed the people they are not even they are not worthy of speaking to the masses and that's why I always say that these are the people that they they went some groups groups are doing or maybe they are holding any conference you'll be inviting the same politicians that are that have brought the country to its knees. If we look at all of them, but one thing that these uh, new people, this uh, group of people that are forming this MBA, one thing that they've accepted is that, of course, the reason why the Erufai was disinvited, they are not even disputing that. So we know that all of them are the same. None of them is even worthy of coming to speak to Nigerians. Is it the same? I just look at them. I just like, who are these people to, to speak to us? But because of the way the country has been, a lot of things, a lot of sentiments have set in. And that's why you see that everybody just falls for anything. They've weaponized the economy, the, the, the people with poverty, with everything. People don't even reason the way they ought to. Majority of the people, we still have people with you who are still standing, but their voices are low, their numbers are too small. That is why we are having this problem. So if we want to look at all these people, all of them, they are in the same category. But now that uh, these people have gone to the level of trying to form another party, and that is, that it has become a tribal distinct. To that level which is not supposed to be which is not supposed to be if really that okay you are for you are faulting the the decision of mba i don't think it's now it will now lead to you forming another thing because now what we are going to be having before you know the southwest will have their own the, the all the regions they will start having they forming their own this thing so how far do we want to go how do we expect development to come into this country if it has come has started from all these professionals those who are supposed to be a, a good example for the masses to follow that means <laughs> this uh, tribalism or this ethnicity problem is going is going it go is going crazy and gaga i don't know what you, you guys think about this thing because it's it's really really ridiculous if you want to go by that if there's anything you want to protest against the decision of the of the mba it's it's fine it's fine, but creating another thing, creating another group, that is where I have problem. Are you sure that we can cope with this a lot? We can cope, we can cope with all of this, with all the problems we have on ground before. We've not been able to, we don't even know how to come out of them. Now we are creating more. Well, this is a welcome development. It is already overdue. I pray Northerners in the medical, nursing, accounting, and others should follow suit. It is, it is a good radiance to bad rubbish. Any association formed between North and South is detrimental to the progress of the South. Now the Southern lawyers can move at their pace. They can now join the rest of the civilized world in advancing the course of the law profession. That is somebody's opinion there. When Walter Onoye from Chief Justice, former Chief Justice, was forcefully pushed out of office as a southern christian it was normal hypocrisy in highest order this is a very nice one the zoo must gradually fold by god's grace this uh seven will cut across to many other binding groups is this a sign that nigeria 